Finviz, short for Financial Visualization. It's a pretty powerful stock screener, decent market research tool, and actually provides a range of features to help you identify, analyze, and track some stocks that meet whatever goals that you have. Over 7,000 stocks this platform provides the data for from U.S., Canada, Europe, Asia, Pacific, Latin America, Africa, Middle East, all over the place. It provides a straightforward user experience, simple navigation. You can actually rapidly scan through thousands of stocks in order to pinpoint those that fit your parameters. So when you use the advanced filters like price performance metrics or technical indicators like the moving average or RSI settings, you can narrow down your search results pretty quickly without having to manually sort through hundreds of charts by hand. You have a customizable watch list feature. You can organize all your securities into one location. Now, if you're brand new, listen, stocks are just a type of security that represents ownership in a company. You can trade them on exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, or even over-the-counter markets. So you buy these stocks to gain exposure to companies that you believe will increase in value. So you have different stock types. You have common preferred stocks, you have ETFs, and these can be bought through exchanges. Now, common stocks, the most widely held form of equity security. It actually can give you voting rights at shareholder meetings and entitles you to dividends, if offered, when they're declared by the board of directors. Preferred stock is a type of equity that shares a few of the characteristics of common stocks, but they often carry fewer voting rights, but could be eligible for higher dividend payments. ETFs, they track an index or a sector of stocks while allowing you to access diversified portfolios without having to purchase individual shares. I'm a huge fan of ETFs. We talk about strategies in stock markets. There's a whole bunch of different ones depending on your risk tolerance and your goals. Now, a popular strategy for day trading and swing trading just involves buying pullbacks. That just has you entering into positions after prices have dropped for longs and start reversing to the upside. You have other strategies, you have momentum trading, you have breakout trading, and all of them have unique advantages. Again, it's going to be based on your own personal preference. So back to Finviz, let's say we're using Finviz to find stocks for a pullback strategy. So we're gonna filter stocks that are in an uptrend, and recently have a corrective phase, which is a pullback. So when you use stock screeners, you can configure a whole bunch of different types of filters to locate your trade ideas based on criteria from your trading plan. So for this example, I'm just gonna use the free version of the stock screener that Finviz has. There's also a paid subscription, offers advanced features that you might be interested in later on. So the first step, you head to the screener section and you click the descriptive tab. The selected screens are in yellow and they are the average volume is greater than 300,000 because we wanna trade liquid stocks. However, if you're trading really large position sizing, you probably want to select a million and up. And I also chose USA stocks that are over $3 a share. So the second step under the technical tools tab, we're going to look at moving averages. So now we want the price to be above the 200 SMA, the 50 SMA, and below the 20 SMA. Why? because we want prices that are in an uptrend, but are experiencing a pullback. So with this scan, when I ran it, it gave me 103 stocks. Now, this is an effective way for you to narrow down and find levels to identify potential opportunities that you're gonna put your money on. But now you gotta evaluate the stocks, right? You don't just enter these blindly. So how do we do it? So we have 103 stocks that came up in the Finviz screener. So we're gonna scan for a technical setups to see if it is worth considering. So remember, we're scanning for pullbacks. So we should know what makes up a good pullback candidate. The first thing is we wanna see a strong move to the upside before the corrective action. Looking at a chart that exhibits a bull flag chart pattern in a stock that has had a good run in price, it's a great start. So to find these, you wanna scan through all the stock charts that the screener has identified. Now, there is a few different sorting methods you can use from the market cap all the way to current volume. My favorite is change in percent, and I can sort those by those that are making big moves to the upside and big moves to the downside. If you had an elite subscription, you can customize it a bit more, but for those starting out, the free one is fine. So to scan the chart, you just switch to chart view or hover over a ticker name and you get a small chart that pops up as we see here with the EMBC. Want a larger version? Just click the small chart and you get a bigger one. Get a few different time frames. Now, intraday timeframes, real-time data, and extensive charting capabilities, you have to be an elite user. So EMBC, on closer inspection, the technical filters highlighted the stock, but this pullback is really not something we are interested in. So you just continue to scroll through the small charts and looking at those that you're considering. So here we have COTY, Cody. We've got a nice 
just run up in price. Currently, it's an orderly pullback. So we would look for some type of basing in the price and to trade a reversal back in the direction of that trend. So in this example, we are using performance. We want the week to be down. You can set that to percentage based as well. You do that. Price is over three bucks. We want the 200 SMA. We want price above that. Average volume over 300K. So now you could scroll through each candlestick type looking for a chart setup that catches your eye. So here's a hammer candlestick. C S I Q. Looks pretty interesting. So we could see what? We could see a double bottom in a range bound instrument. Currently a hammer showed up at support. Range traders could consider this pullback as part of a strategy. Now traders that are good with chart patterns like an ascending triangle, for example, you could keep a simple scan for bullish stocks. Performance, one month, three month, six month gains. Look for those that have made a run of 30% and up. Volume over 300,000, price three bucks and up. So with these, you're looking for a big move over those periods and then a consolidation or a pullback. So this brings up this chart as an example, our low. So we had a big move, price pulled back, we had the consolidation. These types of setups are great for swing traders looking for that next move up in price, a different leg. So Finvez does have a chart pattern screener. Honestly though, myself and others, we want to get our eyes on the chart to see if there's a pattern. The data is good, right? But leaving all decisions to a scan, you're gonna miss quite a few setups. Let's talk about the elite version. Now, I don't have a link for you here, all right? Just go to the website. I'm not looking at affiliate commissions here. So if you want more features, check it out. You get real-time data, you get intraday charting, which is perfect for traders looking for day trading opportunities. You get advanced screeners, you can back test with various technical filters. That's gonna help you design and test various strategies that you're interested in. So whether you're swing trading, position trading, day trading, it doesn't matter. This screener is a low cost way to narrow down your list of potential opportunities. I'm gonna wrap it up. The best thing is just go check it out. Finviz, I think it's a pretty powerful stock screening tool. By using that platform's features, you can locate your stocks for a pullback strategy, for example, and evaluate their potential for future growth, whether that's a trade you're interested in. At the same time, the elite version has more advanced tools for traders that maybe are a bit more experienced or need them a bit more. Now, beginners or experienced ones, you can get a huge benefit from using Finviz. Uh, don't hesitate, you know, explore that platform, discover the potential that's gonna hold for you and your trading strategy. Now we're talking about stocks. Our favorite way of trading stocks at Netpix overall is through options. And here's an eight minute options trading cookbook we have. Some pretty powerful strategies here. We actually have a recipe that has five different paths on one trade to make money. It's pretty cool. Link is to the left or below in the description. Check it out. Talk to you soon.